stance, grip, shooting positions, all important fundamentals for the beginning rifle shooter. I'm Chris Chang, History Channel's Top Shot Season 4 Champion and Professional Marksman for Bass Pro Shops. In this video, we're going to talk about two common shooting positions, standing and seated shooting. We're also going to go over the proper stance and grip for each. So let's start with standing. Now, this is the direction I'm shooting in, and so we're going to get into what's called the weaver stance. And so starting with my feet, I'm going to take my right foot and come back 45 degrees, so I'm basically what's called bladed toward the target. I want to put a slight bend in my knees, and I'm going to lean forward into the target. Now, the reason for that forward lean is we've got all this recoil that's going to be coming along this axis, all this energy, and so it's going to be coming back at me, and if I'm not leaning forward, I can actually get bumped back. So nice forward lean will make sure keep my whole baseline steady. So for grip, pretty simple. On this pistol grip, gonna make sure my finger's off the trigger since I'm not ready to shoot. With my left hand, I can place it up here on the front, in the middle, or up here close to the magazine. It's really shooter's preference. I like to have my hand up front but the main idea is with your left hand, you wanna be pulling that gun into your shoulder and making sure you have solid contact with the buttstock and your shoulder. Now, here's what's gonna happen if you don't have that good contact and if there's a space. When you shoot, you're gonna get hit and hit and hit and you're gonna get driven back and we wanna make sure we're staying stable and on target. So I'm gonna go ahead and load around, come on target. Nice bend in the knees, leaning forward, left hand pulling into my shoulder. Going to turn my safety off. Now finger on the trigger. Going to do a nice slow squeeze. Break one shot, finger off the trigger, and safety on. So that is the standing stance. Now let's talk about seated shooting. Let me get my chair here. All right, so many of you are gonna be shooting in a range where you're gonna have a table and a bench. And so very similar to standing, we wanna make sure that we have a stable platform. Starting again with my feet, I've got my feet firmly and flatly placed on the ground. Now coming up, I'm gonna make sure that I have my buttstock touching my shoulder here. I've got a support here, I've got a milk crate, which you can use really whatever you want could be a, uh, a tire, uh, or it could be a range bag. Now here's a word to the wise. If you're going to use a range bag, or really whatever you end up choosing, make sure that the muzzle end, and the muzzle is the end of your rifle, make sure that it's extended beyond whatever you're resting your rifle on. Now here's why. That muzzle brake is directing hot gases with every shot. So if I had my range bag underneath the muzzle, my range bag might get destroyed by all those hot gases. All right, so now that I have a stable shooting platform, I've got my melt crate here. I'm gonna fire a shot, check, make sure I have contact with my shoulder and the buttstock. My feet are firmly placed on the ground. I'm gonna hold my rifle to the crate here. Safety off. Put my reticle on target. Trigger finger on, nice slow squeeze, break the shot. Safety on, let me go ahead and unload, magazine out, all right, and bolt back. All right, so as you saw in both the standing position and the seated position, when I shot the rifle, my body stayed pretty stable, I didn't get kicked back, and that's because I was leaning into the gun and then also with my left hand pulling into my shoulder. So now that you have an understanding of these two common shooting positions and the proper stance and grip, head to the range and practice. If you're looking for a place to shoot, check out wheretoshoot.org. And remember, firearm safety begins with you.